Hey everyone, I'm Annie, a chef at Brava, and I'm going to show you how to use your new Brava. In this tutorial video, you'll gain essential instruction for cooking with light. Most of what I'm about to show you is reiterated on these handouts that come with your Brava, so keep them close by for reference. Setting up the Brava only takes a few minutes. When you first remove the Brava from the box, position the Brava on a flat, heat-resistant surface with at least four inches of space around each side. Then plug the Brava power cord into a 20 amp circuit and make sure no other appliances on the same circuit are running at the same time as the Brava. The Brava logo will appear on the screen. Once prompted, connect to Wi-Fi and follow the on-screen instructions. Brava software automatically updates on a weekly basis with new seasonal recipes and functionalities, as long as you are connected to Wi-Fi. These weekly updates are included with your purchase. Each week, expect new, fully automated recipes such as two tray cookies and sometimes even new manual modes such as rice cook. Next, you'll create an account on the Brava device and log in. Use the same credentials for the Brava mobile app. Then you're ready to start cooking. To familiarize yourself with the Brava, you can view the full catalog of recipes in the cook tile. This list is available on the Brava website and app as well. I recommend starting with the recipes to try first folder. Let's walk through a recipe now so you can see what it's like to cook with the Brava. I like to tap the search button to find what I wanna cook, but I'm gonna show you what Brava calls a combination cook. You can create your own meals with up to three ingredients and Brava cooks them automatically. Each ingredient is placed in a separate zone, which is designated by the numbers on the side of the tray. Today, let's cook filet mignon, potatoes, and broccoli. This is only one of thousands of fully programmed recipes on your Brava. The directions for this recipe are on the Brava screen or on the app. It tells me which tray to use and how to prepare the ingredients. Tap the recipe booklet icon for additional recipe instructions. The metal tray has little numbers on the left-hand side. Those correspond to the zones. So for this recipe, broccoli is in zone one, meat in zone two, and potatoes in three. Zone one will be at the front of the Brava, while zone three will be placed towards the back. When cooking animal proteins in the Brava, use cold meat directly from the fridge. Yes, really. For best results, the meat should be between 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Pat all proteins dry with paper towels, before seasoning with salt. This will help it achieve a beautiful sear. Press it down with a utensil so the meat makes more contact with the tray for an even better sear. I've tossed the vegetables in oil and salt and I've filled each zone with an even layer. Brava cooks with light and transfers heat directly onto the food. Because of this, you don't wanna leave space on the tray. Fill each zone completely as if you are coloring inside the lines. Be sure the ingredients are in one single layer so the light will cook each piece evenly. Now that the tray is ready, let's talk about the temp sensor, Brava's probe thermometer. It monitors the internal temperature of your proteins as they cook. The dark and light gray sections double as a measuring stick to measure the height of your proteins. So why is this necessary? Proteins that are closer to the Brava lamps will absorb more heat and will cook faster. Brava lets you easily select the height of your protein on the touchscreen. Then Brava will auto-calculate the cook time for you based on your desired doneness. I'm choosing medium rare. If your protein is too thin for the temp sensor, don't worry, there are plenty of Brava programs that are automated and do not require use of the temp sensor. In some recipes, Brava lets you adjust the cook time with the personalization slider. If you like things on the crispier side, slide the bar up 10%. Notice how the cook time changes. You can reduce or add cook time to your preference. Back to our steak combo. Next, you'll insert the needle through the thickest portion of the protein. I've put the temp sensor on the left side all the way through to the handle. If you attempt to insert it in any other way, you run the risk of getting a faulty reading or damaging the temp sensor. The Brava touchscreen has reference videos of how to insert the temp sensor. Next, insert the tray into the top or bottom shelf as indicated on the screen and plug in the temp sensor. That ding and the pop-up indicate that the temp sensor is connected. Make sure the cord is tucked under the guardrail so that it's protected from the lamps. You can always use your thumb and your forefinger to turn the handle counterclockwise. The cord will untwist and tuck itself under the rail. If you miss this step, the temp sensor could get damaged. All right, I'm closing up the door, reviewing the recipe on the last screen, and I press the green button to start the cook. It's only gonna take about 20 minutes. You can watch from the device or watch from the app while you relax. Cooking with Brava can be up to two to four times faster than in a conventional oven. So how does Brava actually work? There are three lamps on top and three on bottom. 
our team has coated these lamps to pulse, almost like a disco light show, to perfectly cook foods from the top and the bottom. Foods that are darker in color like steak require less heat and time, while foods that are lighter in color like potatoes reflect light, so they require more heat and time. You can easily remember it this way. When you go out into the sun in a white t-shirt, you feel cooler for longer. But if you were to go outside in a black t-shirt, the heat would penetrate quickly and you'd feel hotter faster. But Brava figures all of that out for you. The cook is complete. It notifies me on the screen and also on my phone via the Brava app. Safely unplug the probe and set it to the side of the tray. It's made of metal and very hot, so use a heat-resistant mitt or towel. You can place the trays directly on top of the Brava, which has a silicone mat intended to safely absorb the heat from the trays. Brava accounts for the resting time in the program, so as soon as you hear the ding, the food is ready to eat. For more temperature-specific items like steak or eggs, we recommend removing them from the tray as soon as possible to prevent carryover cooking. You can see Bravo cooked it perfectly. It's crispy on the outside and so juicy on the inside. The veggies are crispy, caramelized, and so flavorful. This is how I like it, but Bravo will cook it to your preference. You can always touch things up too for desired doneness or to add a sear. After you're done, cleanup is a breeze. Wipe the interior with a damp cloth or paper towel. Avoid touching the lamps and be sure to check the crumb tray. The accessories can easily be washed and are dishwasher safe. For deeper cleans, we recommend Barkeeper's Friend. An in-depth cleaning tutorial video is available on Brava's support page. All right, now I wanna show you just a few of the other buttons. Discover all of the latest recipe releases via the new items category. Brava also has several manual modes and counting, so you have the flexibility to use Brava the way that you want to. Brava lets you toast, bake, sear, reheat, dehydrate, rice cook, air fry, slow cook, and keep warm. Most of these manual modes have been programmed so that you can use any recipe and plug in the same time and temperature that the recipe calls for. Since Brava's lamps get to 4,000 degrees in a second and cool down just as quickly, it's important to use our proprietary accessories. The metal tray is our most popular and most used tray. It sears proteins beautifully, caramelizes veggies, makes a restaurant quality pizza, and more. It's non-stick and coated in non-toxic ceramic. You'll want to use plastic, silicone, or wooden tools to prevent scratching. All accessories are dishwasher safe. The starter set comes with a glass tray that is best for fish, lightly roasted vegetables, and dehydrating. The egg tray is our best seller. It's made of the same material as the metal tray and can be used for poached or fried eggs, pancake muffins, lava cake, and more. We also have a bakeware set for brownies, quick breads, and muffins, and an enameled cast iron chef's pan, which is best for casseroles, slow cooking, and rice cooking. Also, Brava has dozens of two tray cook recipes that you can find in the search bar, which will feed larger groups or make meal prepping easier. You can always search for recipes using the Brava mobile app and cast them directly to your Brava via the paper airplane icon. Brava has a robust community. 75% of our preset recipes have been created due to customer requests. You also have the ability to make your own Brava recipes, which we call custom cooks. You can search them on the app or web and save them. You can also personalize your Brava by clicking on settings, personalization, and change the button color or your screensaver. And if you ever need to power off your Brava, you can find it in settings as well. This just scratches the surface of what there is to learn about Brava. If you have any questions, requests for recipes, or specific support questions, direct them to hello at brava.com. You can also join our Facebook community group and get your questions answered in real time by our customers. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.